Right, so the guys at Scalar have given us an update to version two, which is version 2.7. And this is a real game changer of an update because firstly, if you own version two of Scalar, it is completely free, which is you know fantastic. And secondly, it's got a couple of extra pieces of functionality and enhancements, which are real game changers in the world of Scalar and really take it beyond the realm of chord creation. It takes it to another level. The setup in Ableton is a little bit finicky it's a bit funny so i recommend that you watch all the steps here because it's really important that you follow these steps in order to get it to work in ableton so i want to show the sync feature which all that's doing is saying in the first instance of scalar you can set up your chords but any other subsequent instance of scalar will sync will follow those chords kind of like captain chords the way that does it follow the chords and will uh, do the performances based on those chords so let me explain that to you now let's bring in a few instances of scalar so that's number two we'll just do four so this is number three and we end up with number four so we have four instances of scalar if we go back to the first one you'll see straight away that in the top left hand side on the big s the big blue s you've got this sync button it's always been there but this live sync progression builder chords voicings etc is new so if you click on that and select start live sync that will do a couple of things it will firstly add the leader button here to this instance of scalar and every other instance of scalar will show follower let's just take a look see that says follow let's make it a bit smaller okay so that's the first thing to note now the other thing that's really cool is we have some new genres and I believe um, there's new hip hop sounds and new 80s. Let's use one of the 80s chords sets and we can go into one of these sounds. Lo-fi is one of the new sounds, but we're just going to stick with felt piano for now. If we just say select the first four chords, we'll just bring them into the pattern area and we'll just select this loop button. So we just loop around instead of stopping at the end of the fourth chord and we press play so we can just hear the chords like that now just stop that quickly and if we go to the second instance of scalar we can now see that those four chords have been added to the second and believe me they've been added to all instances of scalar and that is really nice and if we go back to the first and we want to say add a fifth chord and then go back to the second instance, that fifth chord has also been added automatically. And if you have choose say different sounds, you will be able to hear those sounds because the second one is following the first. So they're gonna be playing the same chords, but different sounds. Now, the way for this to work in Ableton, and this is the important thing that took me a while to work out, is you need, it even says it here on the bottom, it says play progression, right click on sync, playback to door. You need playback to DAW to Ableton for this to work, at least for me. Um, you guys might have different experiences so just right click on that so the ableton spacebar is what actually starts this from going so let's press that so on the second instance what we can do now is if we don't like that sound we can just change the sounds Go back to Super Saw, it's a bit loud, and click on Performance Mode. Now let's add another chord to this set. Let's swap these two chords around. Let's change the sound. So it's, it's literally following the chords. So on the third one, what we might want to do is add a bass performance. So we just go under performances and select bass, and we'll select a bass sound. So I believe orchestral bass is one of the new sounds they've added to 2.7. Let's try retro bass. Now that's quite um, low in terms of octaves, so you can go into here and just increase the octaves. So 
So this is not gonna be quite synced anymore, but uh, at least you're able to uh, control the sound there. And then let's just add a fourth scalar in there. To the different instrument. Now, another new thing that they've added is something called avant-garde, which are very unusual um, types of arpeggios. Let's change the sound again. Okay, so that sync feature is super, super amazing. I'm just gonna go into session mode of Scalar. We've just narrowed it down to one MIDI uh, area and we're gonna select something called a genre called Divisi for part. Now, what this is, is multiple outputs. Now, this is something that took me a while to get my head around, but it is incredible what you can do with this. It basically take, takes a chord and it takes each note from that chord and outputs them to different instruments. It took me a while to work out how to do this in Ableton, but you can do it. I'm gonna show you how right now. So we just go to Hans as one of the options. And you just gotta make sure that when you're in your preferences, you have multiple voice output on okay and so that is now on and we're just going to now create four midi tracks and in each midi track i'm going to put a different virtual instrument so we'll just put a repro in here we'll select we'll just select a just basic presets here and select another one here different presets for each and finally another one here now in terms of the ableton routing you've got to do is select scalar in each of the routing midi froms in each of the midi froms select select scalar and then in the post two we will select scalar in each so it's sending scalar from midi one to all of these different instruments i'm just going to put the volume down on each one because i don't know how loud this is going to be and we're going to go to the first one again and we're going to now bind this to my keyboard so i'm going to play this on my keyboard make sure it's armed so another thing to note is on each instrument you want the monitor to be in so we're playing scalar 2 we've binded it to the keyboard now i'm playing the notes We've got scalar 2 we've selected all these chords and we've clicked bind to keyboard that's on so every time i play a note on my keyboard it'll play one of these notes it'll start at c d plays the second note and e plays the third note so let's start with that i mean the original scalar sound which is the <clears throat> felt piano will be played and you'll hear that as well so if we just solo the first one it sounds like this solo the repro five and let's just unsolo all of it and play all of it so i'm going to explain to you what is happening here and this is the um, Plugin Boutique Scalar 2 manual. So what will happen here is when a chord is played, all notes are played onto channel one and each individual note that is composed of the chord is played on channels two to 15. So for example, on a C major chord containing the note C, E, G, Scalar will play C on the channel two and E on the channel three and G on the channel four. And that's exactly what's happening here. So you can just play all that stuff and we'll go into Scalar and we'll automatically play it. We'll just right click on this button there. It's just gonna automatically play everything. But we'll take the felt piano off so we don't have to hear that. And while that's playing, we can go into the VST and just change some of the sounds. on each one you can do things like change the levels 
pan, and obviously put different effects in. So what you end up with is this kind of amazing orchestral feel to the whole thing. And that is something that I've never seen before in any DAW. I mean, that's just a little piece of magic. And to think that if you've already got version two of Scalar, it is basically, it's free if you've already got version two. So if you do have it and you haven't updated, I would highly recommend that you do it because just this update is superb. Now, just finally, they have added hip hop and 80s, which sound really cool. They've added a few new sounds. I think the uh, lo-fi sound, wherever that is, is one of the new sounds. There it is. And we just Solo that lo fi sound. And they've added lo fi to the genres as well. So let's just play that. They've also added in this new performance called Avant Garde. We'll just take a quick listen to that. Avant Garde are just sort of like arpeggios, but a little bit sort of weird and complex. So let's just listen through that. And we'll just try a couple more. I mean, definitely sound pretty usable. As I said, it took me a while to work out how to make it all work in Ableton, but I can and I did and it does. So if you guys have any questions, particularly about how it works together with Ableton, I'm here to help. <laughs> so thanks a lot and until next time, ciao.